Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back for the Penguin Episode 2. We are just as excited, if not more so. Please leave a comment below. Let us know how excited you are. Please subscribe so you can see Episodes 3, 4, 5, etc. Please leave a like with your non-waddly hands. Please also thank the fine folks at Prepper who make this all possible. It is an R-rated show. As you saw from that first episode, there are R-rated things because HBO. So those editors are the reason we can put this on the YouTube. Much thanks to Prepper. Also, if you want to see this over at Patreon, you can watch all of those crazy things if you sync up your own copy, wherein you watch like you're sitting next to us on the couch every single moment, including those R-rated HBO things. Greg, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Without further ado, Penguin! Three. Social media. God damn it! <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> Speaking of excited, you should be excited to check out our social media where if you cannot afford the Patreon, which we totally understand, the world's very expensive, head on over to the social media where just following us helps us out immensely and our excitement translates to all sorts of exclusive content that we give just to social media over there. Check out the TikTok, check out the Instagram, check out the Twitter. It's all happening just like the Penguin is happening in three, two, let's get it. Oh, Arkham. Oh, backstory. Sophia backstory. We're going to Arkham, too. Yeah. Hardly. Uh, Lady Gaga's here. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Wow, looks more pale. Hey, he's that from um, uh, freaking he's in the Luke Cage. Yeah. He's also a big Wu-Tang fan. Oh, it's not a flashback. I swear to God, one day I'll get you out of here. Oh, geez. She's still there in her mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Man, that's intense. Wow. You're safe. Oh, therapist. Can therapists do this? I don't know, but maybe mob therapists. Well, you seem very mellow today. Do you see the pictures on the wall? Be present. Whoa, that looks like the Riddler. The items on my desk. Yeah, his last name's Rush. Ironic. I can help you, Sophia. You're safe. I'm not safe. Look at that coat. Damn. I'm home. <laughs> oh. Home is danger. Yeah. That subtle penguin nose is... Oh, right into the penguin right nose. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to force my hand to take a fall for you? I ain't forcing nothing, Sal. You deserve the credit, and it's yours. I could drop your name to the Falcons right now and stop this war you brought on my family. Eh, ain't gonna happen. But you're wearing that ring around here, Sal. But you're already gloating. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. They're distracted, and I got the inside track with the new Don. They brought in Carmine's brother, Luca. He's a fucking buzz. <laughs> <laughs> We could take them all down, Sal. But you gotta do your part. Oh, he's responding. You miss a second. Yeah, they're not falling for his wiles. He's a dog, but a dog can be submissive. Hear that? I read it, <laughs> but now I'm listening. This is Irvad, one of my capos. He'll run point. It's a simple route, straight shot to Robbinsville. No highways, all neighborhoods. I love no how they highways, light his eyes, dude. The no way they light his eyes is so beady. No hard feelings, right? And we're all on the same side. Yeah, sure, us. Yeah, good. <laughs> Everyone in the lead car or truck, <laughs> the patsies. <laughs> oh, I love that he set him up to die as revenge, and but first rubbed it in. The follow car. That's where I'll be. You don't touch that. Penguin. Does he like being called that? I don't. Wouldn't expect to. It's your operation it means you're on the truck. Let's go. I'm gonna cosplay as him this year. All that working out. Yeah. Just negate it. <laughs> <laughs> this precise diet put on a suit <laughs> I love the lighting so much there's such good uses of yellow and tones of orange that make it so much like more disgusting and like tangibly stinky it's a good carryover from the Batman movie helps unify it why do seagulls fly over the sea why because if they flew over the bay they'd be bagels like the bread yeah I get it now Ray thanks for the explanation <laughs> <laughs> yeah I got one for you Smart, get out of position. What's the difference between the mafia and the government? Yeah, <laughs> get out of position, smart. So One of them is organized. <laughs> Jump. Relax. You just gotta know your audience. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Zoom, 
how it's right. Oh, goddamn! <laughs> oh, 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 shit! Oh, oh, oh. Well, don't just poke your head out, man. Or, or just do poke exactly your head out. that. Right, just walk on out of there. <laughs> Proved his innocence by saving that guy. She came in at the right time. Heard what she needed to hear. The Maroney's walked away with the whole goddamn stash. Is that all you care about? The product? The money we lost? I mean, it's really, really important. Justice is what matters, and that is what my brother, your nephew, deserves. Why aren't his killers strung up across the city? When the time is right, the Maroney's will pay. <laughs> They weren't working alone. How'd they know about our route? They had someone on the inside helping them. God, she's so smart. How dare you with this shit? You waltzing in here like you mean something. Oh. You don't call the shots around here. Neither do you. And this is my niece you're talking to. Show us some respect. My apologies. Gang war in family. Gang war out of family. Are they treating her that way because she's a woman? It's the coat. God damn. It's not fair. You, you need anything from me, boys? You've done enough. I like that they still don't trust him, but he's still rattling them from like just outside. I feel like we only break Oz's perspective when we're going to check in on her. Or him, Renzi, Vincent. Your brother's funeral is tomorrow. Just focus on laying him to rest. I'll deal with the family business. I think you're right. The only solo shots, though, other than him or her. I saved your boy Castillo's life tonight, even after what he did to me. What are we running, a marathon here? <laughs> <laughs> You should be the new boss, not Carmine's little brother. Careful. Yeah, careful. Oh, whatever. So I shouldn't say it. So what? Al's dead. Mm. I love them too. More than those pr <laughs> <laughs> You got a card to play. Something that'll force them out. You'll see the power you got. Al's shipment. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> What he would have wanted. What's the point of manipulating her to go on top? It'll still cause inner rot. It'll cause the family to get disjointed. The more disorganized they are, the more power he gets. You are scrambling for whatever dignity you have left, and you're hoping I will save you. Not gonna happen. God, I love how she's the only one who's always on him. Mm-hmm. Trying to push me out. It was kind of my Falcon's right hand. You think it'd mean something? A couple of tank cues wouldn't hurt. It's like he just wants a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's this poor kid. <laughs> None of those had the balls. Like he's got a whole crew, and he only like confides in him. Yeah. No, he doesn't know his friend was killed. She wants an inside man. I'm gonna give her one. Jesus, Vic, I said no cilantro. It's everywhere. <laughs> Guns are on the way. Stop picking. <laughs> <laughs> These little moments that I feel like they really took the good page out of mob movies. Yeah, the comedy moments are so needed. They're letting psychos out of Arkham now. You hear about this? Oh, that's how she got out. Was I don't care. My Sophia David Falcone on. is a serial killer. It's seven women, and that's just who we know about. Seven women. Whoa. Women got to stick together. Not kill each other. The Falcone hangout back in the day, and I was a bar back. And one day, this guy Pinchy rolls in. It's like a Trump room. He wants me to be his driver. Only problem was, I couldn't drive. So what'd you do? Took the goddamn job, kid. And this is on a Friday, and I start on Monday. So what do you again? I, uh, I stole myself an old Buick. <laughs> I drove it around the east side like a maniac till I landed in a ditch next to the Sprang River. But I f***ing lied, Vic. And on Monday, I became Pinchy Rovenio's driver. What happened to him? A few months later, Carmine caught him talking to the feds. So Pinchy got popped. But Carmine <laughs> saw something in me. And the rest is history. Oh, the old mob stories are great. Building his character up just anecdote at a time. Everybody, this is Vic. Vic, everybody. That's my guy. Hey. All right. I'm wondering, like, he coming up with them, if they were his friends that actually, like, were friends to him, or if he always just has alibis. He pays her both. That's why I talk to prostitutes. Alibis. Alibis. <laughs> See, I think this show only cuts away from, from Penguin's perspective when it's when it's to a her. Sophia story. I think you're right, yeah. actually. Okay, detective. Uh huh. Is he Bullock? Oh, he might be. He looks it. All respect, uh, no. <laughs> a gift for your condition. You want to do him now? You can do him now. <laughs> Four hours ago, the Maronis hijacked the Falcon transport. I need to know how they came to have that information. You, you think it was an inside job? That's something I don't know if I'd feel comfortable. <laughs> Money and drugs. Here's our friends. Why are you so lucky tonight? Rest well. I mean, what friends would he still have from the iceberg? It makes sense. Like, they would all have a sense of community of some kind, but how much are they using each other? Roxy here is a successful entrepreneur in the uh, camming industry. I do mostly fetish stuff, domination. Sometimes I work with cake. <laughs> 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 
And you got a sweet toothpick, I'll leave you to it. You got a sweet toothpick. <laughs> Cam girls, what a career. Highly profitable. Crown Point, I'm from Crown Point. Yeah, my cousin lived over there. She said it's like a no man's land now or something. No man's land. How do you know Oz? I, I, I work for him. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm his driver. Is he a virgin? Pretty squirrely. <laughs> waiting for the right time to use those photos. The slow build on those. I love that he's got a vault that he lives in. You killed Alberto Falcone. You put me and my girls at risk. That weasel Vitti's gonna take the fall for the whole thing. He's untouchable. <laughs> no one's untouchable. Then neither are you. She seems genuinely concerned about him. Yeah, it's interesting, though. Dynamic. You think I want Sophia Falcone knocking on my door? Women like me, we got enough targets in our backs. It's nice to see someone attracted to him. Cut to. Ain't nothing about Sophia Falcone I can't handle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oof. How the world judges her, and she seems unhinged to everyone. She's really the smartest one. But she's also just trying to keep it together. Like, every every time we come back to, like, her by herself, she is going through it. Sleeps in the closet. I'm curious. Oh, it's her own? I was going to, like, how'd she get those marks in her neck? And it's her. Oh, she was wearing the ascot earlier. Trying to claw her own neck out in her sleep? Like she's got like a... Yeah, uh, I'll be right there. Everything okay? Just wake. That is armpit heel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that would hurt. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. She's not taking her medicine? I just went for a walk. He's got nothing better to do. <laughs> Neighbor taking care of her, keeping an eye on her? Yo solamente soy el dueño de este edificio, okay? Pero su demencia está empeorando. That's heartbreaking. Manente. Oh, is you a doctor now, too? I don't pay you for your medical advice, is uh... I mean, it wouldn't be bad to give her some help. But it's always hard for a kid to put his parent in a home. Like, I can't imagine. To have, like, a nurse here or something. Grandma, she had Alzheimer's before she died. That was rough. Can't imagine. That was rough. <laughs> A lot more needle drops in this episode. They were used in action last time, but it's interesting, just like world building here. That was also a literal needle drop in fairness. I'll share with you. Oh. She's going through it. Shakes and everything. I think it's the same dress, too. I don't want to be cooped up in this shitty house no more. I know. And when the sunlight if my son is a nothing, what am I? Oh. oh, come on now. Tears. Oh, Tears the the funeral starting. The carrot and the stick for mom. The true motivation. The true why. That's <laughs> the little moments, like you said, the comedy beats. I wonder if that was like semi improvised. If that was an actual driver. Just like to drive. <laughs> There's a sign that says seven is too many. <laughs> Murders? <laughs> too many. <laughs> Six would have been except One. All right. We'll let you get away with one. Cut you off seven. <laughs> Thinking about how much Al would have hated it. Yeah, he would have left early. Found a better party. <laughs> yeah. I loved him. It was great. Yeah, yeah. That My was best Al. friend. That was definitely Al. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a service for my brothers. My mom said she didn't want to deal with the pity. She wouldn't get out of bed maybe a month. Then one night, out of the blue, she came to me. She was all dolled up. Smart to get personal identify. And the relatability without being like, I sympathize, but actually connect. She took me to a jazz club on the east side. Monroe's. It's the first time I ever heard live music. Whoa. Forget about it. <laughs> what do you think it was that changed for her? Uh, I'd like to think it was me. I don't know. She's actually listening. She died a few years back. I never asked. Hmm. The cover that his mom's dead's interesting. But what was this whole thing about killing seven women? Oh, we'll get there. Super villain origin. There's a call for you. We should get to the house. Listen, what I said before, I meant. Excuse me. Ah, she was polite. First time she really listened to him and actually took any of it. Interesting. He's like slow game getting to her. God, you have to memorize so many numbers. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What are we supposed to do with him? It's my brother's memorial. You said you wanted answers. I brought you answers. <laughs> Drug addict cop. <laughs> <laughs> Take him to the basement, quietly. It's gotta be Sophia Falcone acting on her own. You should know all the movements. Otherwise, you have no value to us. God damn, he's doing so much for you. It is hard we have survived this long. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! God damn it, just listen. My pocket, my fucking pocket. I was gonna give it to her. Yeah, he's gonna play that card. Man, if he'd given that power away. What am I looking at? 
Johnny Vidia's fucking Luca Falcone's wife. Oh. <laughs> now he's worth something again. We want our man back. Give me his name. I'll find him. You met him at Blackgate. And I suggest you hurry, because if the Falcons get him to talk, he'll have a lot to say about you. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, the quiet. What it must feel like when you go into a room to know that everyone's aware of you. And looking and not in any pleasant ways. I mean, you should be used to that by now. All those influencer events you go to. It looks and like, oh, he's like, here. This guy. And no, that's why I go to them. I like, <laughs> I like the oppressive disdain. <laughs> Again, I love that she is like <laughs> she's just awesome in so many ways. Yeah. yeah. Red Mercedes. That's the car you're looking for. You're gonna plant the jewels in Vidi's car while I find out if I we pull this off, Vidi takes the fall, we're one step closer to the top. <laughs> <laughs> you feel alive, Vic, huh? <laughs> feel your heart beating? Mm-hmm. Good, good. Let's keep it that way, huh? He's just always so stressed, <laughs> but he has to try to keep, keep it together for attitude. all yeah. everyone else yeah. around him. What's he saying? It's gonna walk my way to the basement. Nice and quick. I keep talking, I already know. You know what? The bullshit me, Melush. I lost good men. Now they got my own head shot off. You should have told me I had one of those guys here. What? <laughs> Genius. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at rattling them from the inside. Oh, she just has laps of, of reality. Oh, no, it's actually happening. Okay. She is such a captivating performer. Her eyes are so intense and soulful. It's so nice to see you. You too. Uh -huh. Someone that's nice to her. Do you remember all those wild nights at Lake Como? Getting drunk. Hanging out with those horny Italian boys. Ah, I love horny Italian boys. We should plan a girl's trip. A, a girl's trip. Yeah, that, that could be fun. You wouldn't want to go on a girl's trip with this girl. Nope, she killed seven. She killed seven girls. Who's this? I'm Gia. Hi, Gia. I'm your mom's cousin, Gia. I don't want you around my daughter, though. <laughs> wow. Are you pretty? I'd love to cut you up into little pieces. Uh-oh, your barrette's loose. Oh, I can fix that. I got it. There you go. Uh, smart oh, put, man. Put her hands on her. Oh, man. Antagonize. She's a real cutie, Carla. Yeah. Make sure you keep her protected. <laughs> a young woman in this family might not end well for her. Why? What did you Why did you kill them? <laughs> <laughs> Was it just because you wanted to? I'm sure there's a valid reason. Yeah, there must be. But it's a great slow burn. Oh, ah! you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> It's in the bag. Oh, he's oh, in real shit. trouble. I mean, you and Sophia, you really thought that you could keep this from the family. <laughs> All right, now carry him out, Austin. It'll be easy. Or kill him. Yeah, either way, he's got to be quiet. And he's he's, gotta, he's, he's close to dying anyway. He's got to kill him. Can't carry him out. But he's got to kill him in a way that looks like it was just happening. Wake up, pal. I need you to say the name Johnny Vitti. He killed Alberto Falcone. Alright. Once you give the name, they're probably gonna kill him. Oh yeah, that's he's gonna have to worry about it. But he's on so much morphine he wouldn't know reality. I had to run, okay? But I saw it the bouch. I'll say his name. Uh, plans change, pal. Oh, now he's gonna kill him. Oh yeah. yep. I gotta give him something solid. They've been looking at me. I can't have that. That one phone call. <laughs> I mean it's not a very subtle kill. You might want to wash your hands, Oz. And uh, get out of there. I know, man. You're spending a lot of time here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's just waddling his way through this adventure. Nobody's stopping the waddling man. I told you to come to me. There is a traitor in this family, and I brought you someone who can give us an actual answer. I mean, this is totally going to look like there's a traitor now, for sure. <laughs> the traitor of the family, and he's dead. Jesus Christ. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> you get me, everyone, from the drops transport. Nobody leaves. Is he also going to try to put the jewels in the car himself? Yeah, I'm wondering how he plants it. Get them inside. Search everyone for weapons. I hope you got rid of the knife. Yeah, he put it in his pocket, which is... 
You held on to the knife? Come on. Oh, he plants the knife instead of the... Yeah. <laughs> what the Maronis give you, huh? You better watch your mouth, you f***ing gum. Your mother, you dirty rat! Find your mother! Good. Now put yep, it out. Get it. it. Hey! Oh, off me. Hey, everybody! Back in line! I will not tolerate a rat. He's clean. Oh. Him. I got him. It was in his pocket. That's not mine. And he was with him last. Yeah. I would never give me your gun, oh. Sophia. I kind of like this guy. <laughs> oh, Castillo. <laughs> I have been nothing but loyal to give you. Give me your fucking gun. Oh. They killed Joe Coy. That's it. He's out after that performance at the Oscars. Now if Oz can just do this for everyone. <laughs> Plant lots of knives. Yeah. He was mine to kill for Alberto. I made the call. <laughs> oh, this guy. Maybe it's time for you to leave Gotham. Oh, what the hell, man? We got to do his best. For you. For your safety. <laughs> Didn't you spend your summers there in Lake Como? So he's oh, the yeah, one that told her to... Up, yeah. Well, and he's the one that told her to talk about it. To oh, get her out of Gotham. To get her out of it, yeah. Because you clearly see that she didn't want to talk to her immediately. That mislead was great with him planting the knife. Why did he plant it on him, though? I think he's got another thing with him. Like, he wants it to be a gang war between the other family and him. They set it up, so we thought that was going to be a short term. I think he's got a long term goal. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Oz. Oh. Oz. Light out! No! I think he's just trying to teach him a lesson. Yeah, him messing up. This is like a threat. You know how close I got to getting popped tonight? Then I got to plant the blade and the jewels. A lot of work for me, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> you want to survive? You got to adapt. Otherwise, this is what happens. Oh, my God. He's going to descend. I saw something in you. Maybe I was wrong. You tell me. I mean, maybe you ain't cut out for this life. Now he wants to prove himself. Cover the bodies. Hey, Sophia. Don't people ever see this kid with him? <laughs> so, like, when he was running the parking lot trying to plant the jewels, wasn't when someone identify that he connected was... Connected the two? Yeah. I mean, they didn't see his face fully, except that one guy. And we haven't seen him before, that security guard. Yeah, that's fair. So maybe that doesn't connect. But clearly something's going on with the his family at the Iceberg Lounge. These were in Castillo's apartment. It's what Alberto went to get the night he died. We were going to run the family together. But Alberto was taken from me. He's a brilliant liar. And I refuse to let these old... And men push me aside again like I'm nothing. So I'm going to take from them now. And I'm going to force them to their knees. He just got to hear what he wanted for the first time from her. What do you say, Oz? You in? Let's dance. <laughs> what a great payoff from that story from earlier. Oh, man. The jazz set up. The dance. Last line of the episode. Oh, that's good. Oh. Your thoughts? I started last time. Um, I thought it was a good episode, Koi. Oh, I thought it was a really <laughs> solid episode. Yeah, I I do really appreciate everywhere where it's going right now. Um, so f who plays so? What's her name? Uh, she's in Palm Springs. She's in what is her name? It'll pop up in the next few so seconds. Sorry, Christina Milioti. She's brilliant, dude. She's so good. She's so good. I keep calling. Uh, so it says Renzi Feliz. I keep calling him Renzi instead of his name in the show because he was in Runaways and he's so good. But those two would, really impressed me. Like they're two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Like they're both just ostracized. 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 They're, they're shunned. Everyone judges them no matter what room they walk in. Mm -hmm. Like they actually belong together, yet he's the one that she's really hunting. And I, I actually feel the way how you were talking about feeling for uh, Penguin in the last episode. I feel. Oh, that you for, connected now. I feel that way. I feel that for her a lot. Oh, which is strange because I'm like, this girl's like a psychopath. <laughs> she like. She, Greg's got a history of mafia ties and killing women. <laughs> but the, like, it really connects. We don't know why she murdered. It might have been totally valid. Maybe it was self defense. Maybe they dicked her over in some way. I don't think that's. Gonna be I case. believe it could be. You always got to give benefit of the doubt. Innocent till proven guilty yep. is my Seven motto. Seven women. Seven women. You never know. Um, so I really, I just really love everything that she's doing. And I feel like Penguin, as much as we are getting this mentor mentee relationship with Vic, I feel like he's going to be descending into a much darker character by the end because he's just like a insanely good liar yeah like his, his ability to lie sounds so truthful they talk about him talking his way out of stuff but no he's just a damn good liar yeah and 
that scene where he was like putting Vic in the ground, I was like, oh, okay, he might be, we might be watching as he is rising, he is also descending as an individual. You know, I think that's the direction that we're headed for it. And I do think Vic will die. I don't think Vic makes it. I think it's going to be like the original idea for the Jesse Pinkman character uh, to, to reference your last episode's uh, Vince Gilligan. It definitely feels like the Breaking Bad um, as you bring your number two into the depths of the darkness you're going on. Like it usually costs. So I, I do think he, he doesn't make it to the end of the season. But it's really interesting to have the dynamics where Penguin anticipates everyone's decisions and he's able to manipulate it enough. But then this this episode we saw like how quickly he can improv. And I think that was like what this episode is about, where the first episode was about how he can manipulate and play the long game. This episode is about it, how he can do the short game. Because yeah. this episode he was always like on his toes kind of navigating. And the first episode it was like the first half was planting seeds. The second half was seeing them flower. This one was this game of cat and mouse and jazz. And the whole theme of the episode was jazz. So jazz is about the notes you can hear, not yeah. anticipating, playing the moments that are going to like share the solos. And this was also the episode where you noticed um, the most cutaways to her character. And that's also very jazz like in jazz. You've got different solo acts taking over oh, yeah. and you never communicate who's going to have the solo. That's the beauty of jazz is it's impromptu like someone else is the solo. Mm -hmm. This episode felt like jazz and the first episode felt like an orchestra and i really like that they made a subplot about the dancing and the jazz and all those things tie into the way that oz is able to manipulate things so i, I really loved mm. the needle drops being the plot and i really enjoyed that the subplots and the subtext were all pretty much the direction we were taking as opposed to the first episode which i really enjoyed like the easter eggs and like the world building and i think it was very much a pilot and then a this is the show like to me the pilot felt almost very contained like each section was a play. The whole episode felt like it could have almost ended there. It was like, yeah. okay, there's your one shot Penguin comic. Now this feels like part one of the last seven. Like this feels like it's setting up all that big overarching stuff. And we've got new dynamics. So this was a great companion piece to the first. And now I'm like, okay, every week. Like it just, it feels like a different kind of build and a different kind of tone. Yeah. I really love the mom relationship stuff. A yeah, lot. it's intense. Especially in this episode where she talks down to him. Yeah. Like last episode, she talks down in a way that is also uplifting. It's, it's <laughs> you know? manipulatively yeah. uplifting, whereas this one is just, it, like I said, stick in the carrot. We got the carrot last week and the stick was this week. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a, a bit of a tragedy is what we're watching right now. I think the mom will die and it seems like his main motive is to be able to be you know, kingpin for the mom and also be able to provide for like some, like give her a kingdom. Basically. And, and he'll never be able to fulfill that. So then you've got that like festering wound for the Batman. Yeah. Then he'll get the glass eye. Yeah. The top hat. <laughs> yeah. Every season he gets to get the cigar. He gets a cigarello thing at the end of the episode, at the end of the season. But I do feel like by the time we get to the Batman too, I do think the mom will die. I think Vince will die, but we're going to care so much more about the penguin, the character himself it's going to be so tragic what he's doing in the Batman 2. We're going to yeah. feel bad for the crimes. Well, I also feel like we're weirdly watching a love story unfold with Sophia and Penguin. Well, they're so similar. Yeah. They're both like outsiders to want. They both want to be loved by the people that are around them and that they're not. Like you said, Penguin just wants a friend. Well, I like how this show, like they're, they're long episodes and it takes its time. But when you think about the actual plot beats, they really don't like waste time. No. <laughs> you know? Like the fact that we, I feel like in a lot of other shows where we landed here at the very end, I think a lot of other shows would be like episode five or six. A hundred percent. Each episode feels, the first episode felt like about two and this felt like another two. So yeah, four or five, we'd be like halfway through a season. Yeah. And we're just at the top of this. Like this doesn't feel stretched out <laughs> at all. It, yeah, it like, doesn't feel like it wastes on too many supporting characters. I think some of that's a testament to the casting. Like, it, like you mentioned Theo Rossi uh, from Luke Cage. Uh, Theo Rossi, we've got, what, three scenes with him? Yeah. And you're immediately like what's that deal with the therapist? Like there's so many questions and casting someone like that. That's so captivating. You're curious inherently. So you don't have to have like a random scene with him. You sure, don't, you don't sure, need to sure. waste it. And there's not many superfluous characters. Yeah. Yeah. I like how it's R rated too. It's intense. I'm waiting to see like how R rated are they going to go other than F bombs and a little bit of violence. I mean, the guy got stabbed in the heart. First episode we got, we got a single booby. We did get a single boobie. Single boobie. We got a single boobie. Got a little boobie. HBO classic This ain't your kid's boobie. Batman. That's yeah. right. Not Batman. <laughs> but I, I think it's very much establishing the R-rated HBO tone. I mean, the, we joked in the first episode, all the HBO things, but I think it's then smart. to go to a PG-13 Batman 2. I think it's smart to get it out of the way, though, to be like, this is different, and then you can dive in. I think it also, the Penguin fits both tones. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's so good. Like, this is everything I wanted. I, I'm really captivated by the Maroney element, even though we've barely had them on screen. Like, Clancy Brown's done enough where I'm like, tell me more. And then all the Falcone stuff. I love that the inner family dynamics, everything Oz is doing is just to rattle the cage of their inner stuff, which is weakening them while strengthening Sophia. But he's going to end up betraying Sophia, but he's going to care about her more, so it's going to be harder. At some point, mom's got to go. Maybe, right? Because sometimes we think it's going down a predictable way, and then they kind of like, they're throw good curve lefts. They They're really good at throwing like curves. Sometimes it seems like, okay, here's what's going to happen. But then other times it's like they throw a curveball. There were a couple times I was like, like, oh, he finally got to her. And then she's like, actually, fuck you. Like, yeah. I fully believe that she might even be me manipulating him now. Yeah, that's part of the brilliance of her. Like, she's so captivating that I'm like, maybe I should trust that she's saying what she means. <laughs> yeah, she's even ostracizing her own family. Especially her own family. I love that they had that girl come over and say all the things that clearly she, she was finally... told to say until her daughter came over and that showed her true motivation of Mama Bear. Like Just that pull in. That isolation is, I think, the thing that makes me felt like connected to her mm. there because she finally found a moment where the girl hugs her and she's like, oh, this is so strange. Let me open up. That's, and what, then... I, that's what I like about it. It's like there's subtleties uh, in, throughout the entire performance. There's always so much more nuance in every scene that's going on if you just pay attention. Yeah. That's why I'm a little quieter watching this <laughs> because I, I'm, like, I I'm like so that. paying attention to like these little things that are happening. And then I also don't want to miss a line of dialogue because it's also a very dialogue heavy show. Yeah. On top of that. Reactions are 30 minutes. Then we cut <laughs> yeah. <it down>. But like <laughs> you can't like... talk over other dialogue. <laughs> yeah. But subtitles. Make it easier to talk over dialogue. If you want to read you a can show, read it while you're talking, and you can multitask with our ADHD brains. Oh, look at down here, not watching the acting. Shit. Oh, look, not watching the acting. I want to see the darkness in his beady eyes. Yeah. I want to see Colin Farrell's performance. It's so good. I don't want to read it. I want to see it. Yeah, I know he's got that like the eyebrow thing. He's good. Yeah. All comes from the eyebrow. <laughs> it's right here. It's very right important. <laughs> I, I mean, like the, his eyebrows in Bruges should have gotten Oscars. Like he's so good at eyebrow acting. And here it's like all this makeup, eyebrow, beady this eyes. This is really a, like a Golden Globe worthy performance. Did you get the Emmys? Because it's it's more than just makeup. I forget I'm watching Colin Farrell because he's such a pretty like, man all the time. Colin Farrell, <laughs> Colin Farrell is downright gorgeous, and this is such a repugnant man. Like uh, they are yeah. at, it, this. I, I really say, just see the person awesome. That's true. I do. I'm going to really say something do. very big and almost as hyperbolic as you thinking this is my favorite comic property of all time. Not I think just it's of one of the year. absolute best comic book performers. I'm just going to say that. I will say this is the first time since Heath Ledger I feel like I cannot see the actor. I would not disagree with you on that. And that is high I because I think, I think Keith's the best no, performance of all time. I I, I, com I do agree with you on that. I, I honestly I, do not see yeah. Colin Farrell when I look in the eyes of Colin Farrell. And those are his eyes, and I do not see that man. I... Would agree. Only there's sometimes where I'm reminded of him in horrible bosses. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple times when he was like being sweet to uh, yeah. Les, Leslie, whatever whatever his alibi's uh, uh, woman's name was. I forget her name. When he was being sweet to her, and I was like, she just got to kiss Colin Farrell. Uh -huh. Like I had that moment, but only because I'm like, that guy's handsome under there. Yeah. But other than that, I'm just like, that's Oz. Yeah. I don't. I have to remind myself I'm watching Colin Farrell sometimes, which is insane because that he's one of the best actors working as far as like volume and quality. Quality. So it's insane that we can lose him. It's not like you're losing an unknown or like someone we're not aware of, like intricately. This is someone whose face we've seen for 30 years. Yeah. And it's interesting to take like this, this supporting character who had minimal screen time in the Batman mm -hmm. and then expand upon him. And they're like, oh, that's kind of the point of the show is like, oh, the, this person who you feel like shouldn't be a lead is a lead yeah <laughs> yeah and i love that they're building through that they're building gotham they're building the crime saga they're building a world but it's his story i was a little afraid to be honest like i was afraid with gen v as well as this uh the the tie-in element would make one of them feel lesser or that it was trying too hard to set up the other yeah i'd never felt with gen v that it was trying to just be the boy's light and i do not feel like with this it's a bridge episode of the batman 2 it literally feels like Oz didn't have to be in the Batman, but I'm so glad he was because of that element. I would like a little bit more. I feel like it might come in some some stuff about like cops onto them or something like that. I do. I think I, they're gonna cut to that because of the dirty cop. I think okay. that's coming. Yeah, because there's. I feel like there's no real like if you're gonna be a crime show, part of the threat is law enforcement. Just think about how dirty cops are. Yeah. Like in Gotham and yeah. they're dealing with the the town is gone. Yeah. Like cops are busy. Like the whole point of the end of Batman was the Riddler caused the chaos 
in that Batman lost to a point and there was no way to clean out the town. Like, yeah. the town literally couldn't be cleansed by the water because of how dirty the cops were. So I think there is a plausible deniability of the cops are dealing with a giant threat of yeah. rebuild. And Absolutely. they were never that clean to begin with. Yeah. No, I, I agree. But I, but I do agree that at some point it should be addressed, even if it's the corruption of that one cop that mm-hmm. gets brought up later. Yeah, this is a fun show. So good. Fun show. Uh, what do you guys think? Let it's us know a, in the comments. It's a thinking show. It's, I love how much it lets it breathe, but it never <laughs> yeah. is boring. I love that it is very well paced, but it's not trying to be stagnant. Like sometimes mafia yeah. stuff, I'm like, we get it. You're holding on a shot of the tie. Yeah, it's, like, very, it's, very, it's immersive, and especially to Colin Farrell's performance. Like it's, it's so natural yeah that you forget how good it is does that does that make sense 100 like you just feel like you're just watching somebody that you're not even like oh yeah this is like amazing acting right right, right. Yeah. like really good acting yeah. like that guy's yeah. on screen yeah it's also insane that it's that immersive and it's that good and he's <laughs> waddling around like he's literally doing penguin shit and yeah. yet you're like that's acting like you're not thinking about the yeah. fact that he's got all these like super comic booky elements the cigar and the waddle is crazy comic-y and yet his performance is so good i'm not like that's a waddling guy yeah yeah I, i'm really impressed with how they're handling the show impressed uh much love to this show everything i wanted so far let us know in the comments below if it's everything you wanted so far let us know if you've got any theories ideas where things are going are you affected by the lack of cops so far are you affected by uh what gotham feels like what uh what are your thoughts let us know down below please leave a like as we boogie on out of here hit that notification bell if you haven't already because episode three will be dropping next week keep your eyes peeled this show changes actually uh, from I think it's a Saturday release to a Sunday release. So hit that notification bell. Thursday to Sunday. Is it Thursday to Sunday? I don't know. Something weird like it's that. It's something to Sunday. Yeah. So notification bell is going to help you know when the show comes out along with us. We'll see you then. Much love, Reject Nation. We'll see you at the next one. Bye. Michael, Michael B. B. Right now he's covering the penguin as well. What are you hey. showing, B? And I think he's got to do a great job with it. Yeah. He said the first episode's like a masterpiece. He's maybe talking out of his ass. Like I don't fine know. Art. I don't know if he's yeah. talking out of his ass or not, but you gotta go watch it. You better listen. You better no watch where it. where he's talking from. The Penguin's a good show, and Michael B's an even better reactor. That's right. He makes the show even better. He's like the Penguin of reacting. So if you want to enjoy it, and also, congratulations to yourself on 100,000 subscribers. Michael B, you're a good boy. Very That's what B stands for, Michael Boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Yeah, hey, come here, boy. little doggy. Come here, you little. You want to sit on my lap, Michael a, B? Yeah, hey, what are you hey. doing? You want a little chin rub? Yeah, hey, little Michael. Hey. Little oh, Michael Fitch. Fitch. Oh, little Michael Bitch, because you're my little kind of doggy. Dog. You sits on my lap, little hey. Michael Bitch. Look at that. Yeah. Hey. You gonna let him talk to you like that? Yeah, you can't talk back. That's true. It's rhetorical. That's true. You're trapped. Go watch his shit, guys.